G'day Bambies, Kaleido here and welcome to a Sims 4 Creator Sim video where we're going to be doing a makeover of the Belvedere Girls from My Goddess LP. So I asked you guys a few days ago in a poll which LP series you guys missed the most and we actually got 41% of people missed Goddess. So I was really, really excited to hear that from you guys. And uh, the reason why I posted the poll in the first place is because I've been feeling a little bit torn between which series I should work on. And I feel like I just have way too many. I should try to focus on only two at a time. So the two that were really popular was Goddess, of course, with 41%, and then close behind was Vampires and Nightshade, which really is a good thing because um, then when we finish Jungle Diary, which we're currently doing, uh, we can link it in with Vampires of Nightshade. So. Uh, yeah, that's really, really awesome. So thank you to everyone who voted in that poll. You guys can still go ahead and vote if you would like to. It's just kind of interesting to see everybody's comments and which series they enjoy most. I was actually really ready to just keep going with My Little Pony, but I feel like some people just... Uh, really felt like it was a bit stagnant or something or maybe it didn't have enough direction while both Vampires the Nightshade and this one Goddess are just they really do have a plot line to them of some sort so um, that might be what's more alluring to them I suppose but yeah let's talk more about the Belvedere's today because they are one of my favorite families that I've ever made in The Sims 4 before I really really like them and they're super duper close to my heart. They're just such sweet girls and they have such a bit of a sad storyline and backstory. So I'll make sure to link down below the Machinima, the mini movie that I created at the very beginning of the whole series and also link the whole playlist because we're up to, I guess, I think it's episode nine. Uh, in the series so far, so we're going to be continuing on and it's quite established so far So make sure you guys go ahead and catch up with everything that's going on Obviously stuff is going to be changing quite a lot I've been reworking the plot line or adding a lot more to it recently and reading a lot to do with Greek mythology because the series is called goddess uh, it does have a lot to do, well, a lot of inspiration taken from Greek mythology, which is just something that uh, I'm really, really interested in. It isn't actually based on Greek mythology, but there is a ton of inspiration, especially when it comes to names, themes, some relationships, but altogether, uh, it's not like an entire recreation of Greek mythology. So if you guys are into that, I'm very sorry. And I have had people in the past complain that such and such isn't supposed to be siblings with somebody else, um, but they are in my series because I'm more just taking the essence of their goddess or their god and putting them into the Sims and creating my own story with them, if that makes any sense. Goddess is a story about mystery, so there's a lot of things like clues and stuff like that in the in the LP, which I'm excited to get even more into. I will be trying to be doing mini movies or machinimas every 10 episodes, I think I was saying. So we're going to be having one coming up pretty soon. I think I'll upload episode 10 in the next few days and then we'll go into a bit of a machinima that week. I haven't even started that, but um, I really would like to do that. I, I wouldn't say the machinima would come in the next week because they do take quite some time, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. That's going to be really, really exciting. But yeah, so far, so good. We got Artemis here, who is the big sister, and I really wanted to make her feel a bit more professional because, you know, they've gone to Windenburg in search for their missing father, and she has recently become a 
a police investigator, I believe, or something like that, or maybe a secret agent. I can't remember which career. It's one of those. And I just really wanted her to look a bit more like a cop. And that includes maybe getting a bit of a haircut. So right now I have this like, I don't know what character. It kind of reminds me of Hannah Baker hairstyle she has going on right here. But uh, we're going to change it up into a pixie cut. I looked for so long online looking for a gorgeous like... Audrey Hepburn sort of style um, pixie cut. I couldn't find anything. So I eventually just go for one of the random short ones that come in one of the stuff packs or expansions. So uh, yeah, maybe in the future we'll change up Artemis's hair again, but I just feel like it really, really suits her. So really happy with that change for her. It brings together her character a lot more and she has always felt like an androgynous sort of person. So, and even her character in Greek mythology is a bit that way too. So kind of brings it all together. Really, really happy with that decision and we changed up a bunch of her clothes too. So with Aphrodite, I went for curly hair. So there, there are a bunch of curly CC hairs that I have in my game because of my nanny series on Twitch. And I just thought when I was scrolling past that it suited her amazingly. So I just had to go with it. And it kind of reminds me of that painting of Aphrodite uh, when she's coming out of the clamshell in the ocean, which is, I think it's called like the birth of Aphrodite or something. Um, a gorgeous painting. And yeah, it just really reminded me of that sort of beautiful um, image of her in real life, I guess you can say, and it kind of connects her a little bit more with her character rather than her very high schooler-esque hairstyle that I had before, which had a headband and stuff. And this one, the curly one can have a whole bunch of different accessories. We have like flowers and different clips and stuff. So that's a lot of fun. And you know, Aphrodite, uh, in my series. She's a bit of a girl girl, so yeah, she's the total opposite of Artemis, who's more of a tomboy, uh, and she would just adore having all these extra little accessories and stuff. I really like all of the new outfits that I kind of changed for her. I try to make them less uptight or posh. I They're still a little bit like that, but I had a bit more fun with them and just went a bit colorful and out there and yeah, I think she looks stunning with her new hair and all of these new outfits. I just really uh, wanted to let go of some of those styles that I had had for so, so long. I think um, I was hanging on to that third or fourth one from the get-go, from the, I think, years and years ago, maybe 2015 or 16, when I very first had Oh My Goddess. If you guys remember Oh My Goddess, comment down below and let me know <laughs> those cringe years of Kaleido. Probably still cringe at the moment, but anyways. <laughs> I really like this off-the-shoulder dress that I had going on, but I eventually replace it with this one in white with the vest. Uh, I think it's just so cute, but oh man, looking back, I kind of like the blue floral print one. It's really adorable. I forgot to mention when we did change Artemis's hair to a gorgeous pixie cut, but what do you guys think of it? Do you think it suits her? I, I think it looks amazing. I tried a whole bunch of more tomboyish looks for her, which I felt was a bit too much. So I went for overalls instead. I felt like it was a little bit more busy body sort of style. And, um, you know, she is going to be working on their semi-abandoned home. So she needs some outfits that she can just, you know, get messy and around the house when she's doing some woodwork and painting or whatever around the home. While Aphrodite here kind of doesn't have any outfits like that. Um, what I'm going to be doing, something that I've decided for the series, is for Aphrodite, she's been kind of lost at the moment. I watched my previous episode and I felt really bad for her. She doesn't really know what she's doing. She's got a part-time job and she's got the, um, she's got the chariots to hang out with, but 
Uh, she really needs some more purpose. So I think what we'll do with her to make her character feel less shallow is maybe she'll be a bit of a socialite so then she can make connections in the town, find out more from the inside out, if that makes any sense. That way Artemis and Aphrodite will be kind of working together instead of Artemis trying to do all of that networking sort of thing. Um, Aphrodite can do that. It's something more on her level like she, she would be good at because she's just uh, really outgoing, cheerful, and just lovable, just plain lovable. While Artemis is a little bit more difficult to get along with and I just feel like she would be better at doing, you know, all of the hard work behind the scenes, getting hands kind of gritty um, in the file cabinets and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I think it'll be a great way to bring together the girls and Asteria, she looks super adorable in her new outfit. I love some of the toddler stuff clothing, so I was having fun and playing around with that. I also gave her a gorgeous new hairstyle with the little bow. So everyone looks glowed up now. I'm really, really happy with how they look. I hope you guys like them too. I'm so excited to be coming back with Goddess Guys. Let me know if you are too down below. And yeah, I'm just so excited to see this new dynamic that I kind of want to go off with Artemis and Aphrodite. I think they're going to bounce off each other a lot more and maybe Aphrodite will finally be able to connect to her bigger sister a lot more than before. She just really felt a bit disconnected and pushed out of the situation. So we're gonna bring it all together in episode 10. Anyways, I better let you guys go now. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.